Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today is apparently programming tool day. Earlier we had the uh, video about the Visual Studio Code update for October and now we have some news from JetBrains. And sadly, it is not great news, although it will not apply to a lot of you. So uh, first off, what the heck is a JetBrains? Well, JetBrains make a number of developer tools and when I say a number, I mean it. It's basically, pick a programming language, they make a tool for it. So uh, if you want to use Rust, they have Rust Rubber. You want to use C++, they have C Line. And if you're using .NET or doing game development, they have Rider. If you're using the Go language, they have Goland. Uh, WebStorm for uh, doing uh, TypeScript and JavaScript development. They've got PHP Storm for PHP people, PyCharm for Python users, IntelliJ for Java programmers, etc. They basically make cross-platform IDEs and tools for a variety of programming languages and technologies. I've long been a fan of JetBrains. In fact, I just talked about JetBrains like literally earlier this week, I believe, or maybe late last week when they announced this. So on October 24th, they announced that WebStorm and Rider now have free for non-commercial use versions available. So if you are just learning or starting out or working on an open source project, you can use both WebStorm and Rider completely free. This was a wonderful development and I was very happy to report on that. Today's development, a little bit less so. So first we're going to talk a little about how you buy their products. So they actually, they sell the majority of their projects like you used to expect. But the nice thing is they're very generous in the way that they sell things. First off, it is subscriptions. I know a lot of people do not like subscriptions, but they're perpetual subscriptions. So if you stop using the product, you, um, well, you no longer pay for it, but basically you can keep using it. You just don't get updates anymore, which basically is the way that software used to be sold. They also used to do something incredibly cool. Right now, this is their current page for their all products pack. So if you wanted to buy everything, uh, you'll notice here we're in the for organizations tab, and that's going to be very important. Going to come up in a second here. But what you'll notice here is you get the first year, it's $5.99, but for each year you own it, it gets cheaper. So the next year, your subscription is going to be $4.79. The year after that, and every year there beyond, is $3.59. This is a very generous scheme that they've got. And on top of that, they do this for individuals as well. So for example, uh, for the all assets pack or all products pack, it's $289 for the first year, but then that drops to $231 and $173. Now, this has been a little bit of foreshadowing of today's announcement, specifically about organizations, because their licensing terms just got worse. So here we are at the JetBrains announcement for this, and I'll just read it. Hello, we would like to inform you about an important update to our discount policy. Starting on January the 2nd, 2025, so in a few months' time, co uh, continuity discounts will no longer apply to new organizational subscriptions. This change affects all JetBrain IDEs, .NET tools, all product packs, the .ultimate bundle, and JetBrain's plugins. Update only impacts new licenses purchased after this update. Your existing licensing and packages will retain their current discount rate. And they give you an example. Uh, if you currently hold 100 100 IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate licenses with no active discount, you will receive the 20% continuity discount on your first renewal of these licenses and 40% on all subsequent renewals. Similarly, if you have already qualified for the 20 or 40% discounts, you will still receive a 40% discount on all future renewals thereafter. However, any new licenses bought after January the 2nd, 2025 will not be eligible for continuity discounts as we are sunsetting this benefit. So basically what they're saying in a nutshell there is if you already have it or if you have it before January the 2nd, 2025, you will continue to get it, but they will not be offering that as of January anymore. So realistically, if you've been on your fence about subscribing to JetBrains, well, they just gave you a damned good incentive to sign up now because again, a 20% that grows to a 40% discount on subsequent renewals, that is a pretty big deal. So if you plan to purchase a new subscription under the current continuity discount, please ensure you do so before January the 2nd, 2025 to take advantage of the existing rates. Additionally, we will maintain the discount rates for upgrades from your current single IDE licenses to all product packs or dot ultimate bundle. This means you can continue to benefit from the same savings when upgrading. For example, if you're currently holding IntelliJ IDEA ultimate license with a 20 or 40% discount, you can upgrade to the all products pack with the same 20% or 40% discount at any time. Uh, this ensures you continue to enjoy valuable savings while enhancing your toolkit. However, please note that this does not apply to downgrades. Uh, if you have any questions or require assistance, our team is here to help. Now, one thing that I find very confusing with all this is it says right here, uh, no longer apply to new organizational subscriptions. So I'm assuming that when we go back here, that only applies here. 
and I, I'm making this assumption, but I would want to verify it with this. I do not think this is going to apply to individuals. So I think individuals are going to continue to have the second and third year offering here. It's just going to be for organizations where that's not the case. But do not quote me on that. And again, if you are thinking about getting a subscription and you're an individual and you're in this category, you might want to verify because there is a lot of incentive to do this before uh, January 2nd of 2025, if that's the case. But otherwise, it, I like my reading says that it's not changing. I'm curious what your opinion of that is down below. Because again, it is very clear. Uh, it does say very strictly right here, new organizational subscription. So again, I assume this just applies to organizations, but I thought they would have come straight out and very uh, bluntly said this is not applied to personal licenses and they haven't. So again, I think it's just organizations, but do not quote me on that. So definitely a negative change. In some ways, this could make... Uh, Jet range products up to 40% more expensive for organizations, uh, but it does also uh, really give you an incentive to get in there before January if you do want to get those subscriptions for uh, your use. Now, I do, I'm also a little curious if it's going to be, if you have, say, 50 subscriptions uh, and then you hire five more employees and you need to add those five licenses, are they going to give you the existing discount or are you going to have 50, 50 at the 40% uh, discount, and then you're going to have five at the new structure. I don't know how they bill organizations, so I don't know how that scenario will play out, but that would be an interesting thing to find out as well. So definitely some negative news about JetBrains IDEs. Not going to impact the majority of people, I don't think, uh, but if you're in an organization and you're paying for multiple licenses, it's definitely going to impact you uh, unless you stick with your existing subscriptions. So uh, it does make more value for those subscriptions immediately, and then after January, using JetBrains in an organization at the very least is going to get between 20 and 40% more expensive over time. So it's a disappointment to see this going away. Uh, obviously, they're, they've done the financials on it and they think that this is a, you know, a revenue grower uh, and arguably it might be. But uh, again, a negative to you guys, if you are in an organization, you're thinking about getting JetBrains, you're really going to want to act before that January 2nd. That would be my takeaway from this video. So let me know what you think of the pricing change, of their structure and all that. Also, by the way, the perpetuity licensing still exists, so uh, that part doesn't seem to be changing here. So that's good. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.